Hey guys, and welcome to Shadow of the Colossus Part 8. As you matter from last time, uh, we killed a Colossus, big surprise, and now we're going to kill a Colossus. You can see in the background the birds are feasting on our girlfriend. <laughs> you know, it's... she seems to be pretty indestructible, so I don't know what the birds can do. <laughs> well, maybe they're keeping her clean. <laughs> they're picking away the bugs. And... Yeah. <laughs> Can't touch the immortality bit, though, but... And as and once again, we've gotten used to uh, destroying things in this manner. I like how the kind of exhausting pace they generally put this in. I mean, obviously we're kind of watching as things move along, but it is kind of an exhausting pace to imagine killing giant monsters one after the other and then waking up going, guess what? You got to do it again. <laughs> I like that one's mouth for some reason. Oh! <laughs> Now, the usual game that we play in this is Guess the Colossus. Frankly, the Colossus looks like nothing I've ever seen before anyway. <laughs> That's right, it's a human. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just go up and stab Rick. <laughs> and <laughs> my constant plan to ruin this horse's life. I'm handling that quite fine. <laughs> He seems kind of dizzy. <laughs> the light hurt. <laughs> I'm drunk on solar. So, luckily for a lot of these early uh, Colossus, so not too far away in this one. This one can sometimes be a little hard to find. Um, at a wall, some of them are usually in these large uh, natural locations. This one's inside of a building. Um, so you might guess that we're not going to use uh, aggro for this one. Um, I know, sad, but it's <laughs> it's going to be one of the more uh, exciting ones. Some of the next ones coming up are going to be a little bit more uh, quick paced, um, considering that some of the other ones like the fish, we kind of just waited. <laughs> um, that was me just thinking, you know what? I've got you in this corner. No one's going to see me kill you. <laughs> Stop dodging. <laughs> dance, horsey, dance. <laughs> he's he's doing a lot better dodging my stuff. Um, yeah, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently everything in this world is immortal except for me and Colossus. <laughs> See, <laughs> smart fucker. <laughs> Trust me, this horse abuse doesn't end with this. You win this round. <laughs> now, I did get a message about... um. Because there are certain ways you can do the controls that I never really got comfortable with. One of them which is you can actually stand on top of the horse and launch arrows, kind of like a Native American. Um, you just see like a Comanche warrior or something like that. I never quite figured out how to do it. Um, and another one is you can actually leap onto the horse's saddle, which is another one I can never seem to quite figure out. Um, doesn't become too much of a detriment, um, really for me at all. Um, but they're just little ways, I guess, to make, give him a little bit more mobility. Um, but if you don't see me do it, I apologize ahead of time. I can never get comfortable doing it, and you'd rather watch me succeed or fail. I, I haven't really decided yet. <laughs> um, but, so yeah, this is the actual area we go into. Trust me, I first time I tried to get here, I didn't know that cave was there. I got lost for a long time. But, dude, pretty shot. I like he's just jerk. I said no. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm still drunk. Yeah. I'll never not be. Yeah. So I'm gonna just say Agro's the kind of horse that doesn't yeah. get mad. He just gets even. Yeah. <laughs> Go. <laughs> so I start <laughs> playing with his head. He's just dancing. Oh yeah, cruising side <laughs> to side. <laughs> Uh, that's. I just wish that beat would start coming at that point, like some Easter egg. <laughs> I can kick this horse as much as I want. This is his speed. At this part. Like it's programmed to be this slow. <laughs> so I got scared. I was like, fuck it. I can go faster on my own feet. See ya, fucker. Now, luckily, I mean, once I'm in this cave, it's pretty linear in the direction. I try to call him over and just see, like, you know what? Maybe he'll cross on his own this time. Um, I'll wait for you. Where are you? He's coming. 
<laughs> Eventually. Again, annoyed. I walk away. I like the thought that there's these kind of inside lakes and temples and things like this. They're like within canyons and within buildings and things like that. This is a really pretty area. And I like the idea that if I had a place to build a home, I think that'd be a nice place. Except for the, all the cliffs and the death. But other than that... <laughs> it's not like there's anywhere for you to go. The big thing that I... um. And that I love about this kind of game, especially for this early part, you might, you know, see the kind of boredom of the lack of music, but there's something to be told about the no sound. When you listen around, there really isn't any sound, and there's some kind of creepy nature of just there's nothing. It's the desolation. Ooh, and a fish. <laughs> they definitely don't make sounds, so... That one looks really big to me for some reason, but it's just right in front of my camera. It scared me for a minute, I'm like, that is huge! <laughs> And delicious. <laughs> I see the horse jump in the water and gobble it up. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> I can take care of myself. He has a scoot mask on. I love mid-water <laughs> jumping. It just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. You can't be a hero. <laughs> <laughs> you shoot an arrow within its snorkel pull, pull just there. It's like... Oh. <laughs> Did, are you drowning there? Um, sorry. <laughs> So if you thought it was hard enough to find him, he's in a temple within a temple. I don't know why I whistled for him. I'm just be like, see ya, buddy. Am I the only loyal one here? <laughs> Fine, I'll just wait, whatever. I get out the boat early because this one is um, definitely a game of uh, kind of hit and run. Um, but first, a little bit of platforming. I like these moments because they just give you a chance to kind of reflect on a bit more of the... Um, control base and obviously it keeps the levels from feeling completely linear if you if you're just riding horse and walk to spot but this just gives you some practice with the climbing mechanics and the crawling and things like that especially for um some of the later uh, colossus and especially the last colossus knowing how to do this well is important because obviously i need practice <laughs> my ankle okay crit gauge level two <laughs> take two um as you, know, you can also see there, my gauge is consistently getting larger. It starts getting silly uh, large during close to the end of the game. <laughs> Just a little tumble. <laughs> I mean, for all the realistic balance, I seriously do think Wander has the worst balance in the world. Of course, he could take a drop like a nobody's business, but... But I like this feel. This very much feels like some kind of Legend of Zelda temple thing. Just... No music and kind of quiet. <laughs> and now he hears what? <laughs> but it leads us to a. Uh, this is what I would say uh, a very fun Colossus, and if you don't know what you're doing, this one could be very difficult. He's also, uh, at this point, the smallest Colossus that we fought thus far. Doesn't make him any less dangerous, though. So, the temple here is going to definitely be my uh, best friend. Um, and per usual, he doesn't see me. And per usual, my arm is numb. <laughs> <laughs> but your grip is amazing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Maybe I'm just resting it. I can't use the grip or I won't be able to grip onto this guy. But he's the first one to truly fit into what they call a launcher class. Um, that means he actually has a projectile attack. Um, which we'll see here in a bit. Um makes him quite difficult to kind of bide and wait time. This is definitely a moving around battle. Which I don't mind. We had to stand still a lot for a lot of the other uh, battles we've done thus far. Um, but might as well get his attention. Hey, fuckface. <laughs> <laughs> and as each of them have some kind of certain way to make them difficult to necessarily approach, his is uh, wall climbing. Wow. He's actually rather quick, um, and of course, big glowy points are going to be weaknesses here. Um, see, so he's going to start launching projectiles here, so I'm going to run! Or whistle. Um, but not only does he fire electric projectiles that shock you, but if you stay in the gas, it'll damage you as well. Um, what I'm practicing right now is actually the tumble roll and getting con buttons confused, so... I thought you were, like, getting invincibility frames. 
Well, it honestly does last for a bit of uh, defense. It didn't actually make me flinch at all, so you might have discovered it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but sometimes this guy takes some really nasty cover here, so luckily you have uh, three layer uh, levels here to work with. Uh, the further we go down, the more open space there tends to be, which double-edged sword effect of that is that the more open you are, the more likely you get to get hit, but um, this is where he starts guessing, and he actually starts shooting all around the, in rows, so he'll find you one way or the other. I can't tell what animal this reminds me of. First thought was platypus. To, it's very much to me like a gecko of some kind. The flat tail gives it that kind of platypus feel to it, but it feels like a gecko, but it has these kind of small bull head. But what I'm trying to aim for are those big glowy legs. Um, which if I shoot two of them, I can make them on grip. Obviously, I can't aim because he's in the way. <laughs> I hit him, but like, it's all your fault. Jeez. This is a frustrated hit. He's a rather smart Colossus, too, because if you shoot him at one side, he'll end up moving to where you are and kind of... You see, he starts to figure out where I am. He's peeking his head in there and just firing in each row, which I can't go back to that row for a few moments because of the poison gas. So, as I said, not much sitting still in this one. I like this area. It's a big open space, so easy to aim at. And this one also helps with the Colossus lock um, a lot because you have the uh, trigger button to be able to lock onto his placement, which help, which obviously, you know, in big areas like this can make it tough if I'm not looking at him. All right. So I can, if I can manage to get to that other leg, luckily a good shot point from right here. And a lot of times you can use the arrows as a distraction point to get him to where you want to stand. But <laughs> I'm going to just go stuntman here. <laughs> that was a nice one. See, I, I'm, on other playthroughs, I was able to jump directly onto his belly. Um, which actually, if you land on a grip, doesn't damage you. But, oh, come on. So, I'm just going to stab you in your theoretical vagina. Well, that wasn't the weak spot, I guess. <laughs> he doesn't seem to be enjoying it. Now, I get off of him pretty quickly because you only really get a few good stabs before he turns over again. Um, I, I was just overly cautious, to be honest, but it's because I don't want to get blasted. And I have all the time to really pick away at him that I want. Um, at this point in the fight, I think it's pretty easy because... He, I know he's going to be climbing up here, so I'm not going to give him too much time to do that. Just enough for him to flip over. <laughs> he's gonna, he's kind of cautious this time. So I'm going to be a dick to him. What was that all about? <laughs> what was... Why? I'm not doing anything to you. I want to notice he's leaving little inky marks. I'm sure it has something to do with the uh, chemical that he ends up releasing. Um, I've always also been interested in why he has a glowing back, but it, I guess from what I've imagined, it's some kind of internal generator for his uh, projectile. But not really explained either way. I think it been, this level would have been interesting in like a dark area, and you could just see the glowing of his back. Terrifying, but interesting. Yeah. Well, there's a certain terror to fighting a giant monster. <laughs> Go figure. But basically, as you can see, just we're going to be a little bit repetitious in the tactics. Um, but as you, you can almost kind of see in these points, as he starts to learn from his mistakes, he starts getting a little bit more um, loose cannon-y, um, to where he just starts blasting pretty much everything that moves. <laughs> but no, I'm not going to wait for you to get up that far. <laughs> You'll have your one-story fall, and I don't... Oops, missed. Shit. Look at that face. Luckily, if you shoot him, you can sh uh, stop him from mid-shot. I'm gonna try to land on him and break my leg. Um, <laughs> his spot this time moved up to his chest, but either way, some belly shots will take care of him from here. <laughs> some glitchy belly shots. Yep, <laughs> right in the... He's bleeding out of his rib. <laughs> <laughs> Explain that. Once again, play the more. You know what? He comes a bit off like a lobster. Yeah. He's got a big lobster tail. Now, I, the big thing is that you know the sword's the only real way to kill this thing because it is the ancient swords. That, that's 
one of the main reasons why um, there's a little bit of repetition do you have to stab them because the, not, the sword's the only way to kill the Colossus. Um, but the bow is pretty much just as important for a number of reasons. I couldn't bleed some, beat some of these guys without it, so... Um, one thing I always kind of wish for is, um, beyond the time attack, more development to different kinds of weapons. Um, if you time, if you do have some victories to some of the time attacks, you do earn some different weaponry, but nothing that's too unique. Um, we're like maybe something like a spear or a shield or something. But, oh well. Stabby stab. Just looking at the camera like, here we go again. <laughs> if you guys aren't tired of this view yet. Um, this, this is the last time, too. I'm just gonna stab him right in the heart. Oh, no, never mind. Dick stab. <laughs> or never mind, leaving. With the, I like my little side jump there. Yeah. It was kind of a surfer jump. Yeah! I can tell you that some of these, um, Colossus, um, make it very difficult, as you can see, to probably win a time attack, because they are very quick to turn around or make you repeat the battle process over again. Um, see, look, this time he's actually learning and firing into the place I ran into. So he's just firing at everything. But you can see, the big mistake a lot of people make with this fight is that they don't feel cautious enough to the projectile because it's the first time they've seen it. That thing can kill you really quickly if you don't keep moving. Especially the uh, gas that it creates. And because he's firing in more spots, the gas will stay there longer in more areas, so he starts to kind of negate the areas you can run and hide to. Um, it's a learning battle. It'll actually become tougher the longer the battle tends to go. It did look like he was uh, shooting before walking up the wall. Uh-huh. Like he realizes that's what's been getting at him. And big thing is that you can tell that some of these Colossus have different levels of intelligence. Some are you know, dumb as rocks because he just lets you do the same thing over and over again, but some of them are, I would say, as smart as humans, if even smarter. The only thing you can really rely <laughs> I'm starting to piss him off, I think. He looks kind of like, whoa, there you are. <laughs> right in the face. See, the little uh, jump roll thing uh, becomes really important in a lot of the later battles. Because not all the Colossus are slow. As you can tell, this guy's not the slowest guy in the world, but there's there's actually fast Colossus, and that roll is really nice to have. <laughs> hey, Tail. Hey, that's not your face. For some reason, the Tail gives me the impression that maybe he can swim. Um, I feel like that the reason they have sort of things like that is because they had these ideas to implement in the game that, with the hardware differences, they just couldn't. Um, I would imagine if this game came out maybe at the time of... Oh, Kai. <laughs> um, <laughs> that glowy face. Just wanted to look handsome there for a minute. For, for one more dig stab. Oh, wait. This guy, as you can tell, is a little bit more durable than the other guy. But, nah, he's dead. This just makes me feel bad. <laughs> and... Get away from the spaghetti coming out of his dick. And nowhere to go, so. <laughs> yes, call aggro. <laughs> it's funny reading the uh, forums and they're saying things like, uh, aggro drags you back. It doesn't exactly explain this area. Unless somehow he comes down on a hang glider to get you or something. <laughs> the Da Vinci Copter. Oh, right. <laughs> I had to build this. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to drop a bomb on you. Or did I? Done, done, Never done, leave me right. alone again. <laughs> I mean, for some reason, I just imagine coming over to help you by inventing, like, things way before their time. None of which you can use. I brought you a Sidewinder missile. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Patriot Arrow I saw it in a film. <laughs> that I made. <laughs> Directed by Horse. <laughs> Agro Elvis. <laughs> now, I am looking forward to this next one a lot. This is probably uh, one of the... T oh, God. It's it's either what my, fav my favorite or one of my favorite uh, Colossus. Um, and also, the a lot of people consider one of the hardest in the game. But I take him down like a champ because I'm awesome. <laughs> so, Talio! 